Rest Area is a short thriller about a young female writer who's spent some time at a, not necessarily a convention, but more of a, just a book signing event, who then had a long road trip home late at night and she comes across an event that is disturbing and she has to kind of figure out who she is, like who she really is. And that's where things kind of take place and become a little bit more dark than, than you would have expected. Uh, well, the story rest area, our story rest area, uh, originally was based on a Stephen King short story called Rest Stop. Uh, we were able to procure the rights to Rest Stop and we were given permission by Stephen King to then adapt the story as we saw fit. So we were able to change the name. We took Stephen King's lead in his story, Rest Stop, and made it female. It was a male-driven story originally. We thought it played better with a female lead. Um, it gave it a little bit more tension. So we, <laughs> we also had to change the title because a lot of our production locally a lot of the signs on the freeways actually say rest area. So we went very literal with that, and we thought it would be easier in post not to have to change every sign that we saw to rest stop. So we went with rest area, just to, just to differentiate us from, there, there are a few others of these stories out there, and they're all named rest stop. And some of them, to be honest, the production value wasn't great. And we wanted to set ourselves apart from some of those others that are floating out there in the, in the film universe. How I got involved with Rest Area was Sean and I have been working together for probably about three, four years. And we started brainstorming and trying to figure out what our next project is going to be. And um, we both are big, huge Stephen King fans. And we knew that there was this thing called Dollar Babies. Sean looked into it. He got the rights from the Stephen King group to be able to execute the film. Um, we started working on casting together. Uh, I mentioned Emily, whom I've worked with in the past, and he was like, I've always wanted to work with her. I go, all right, well, let me call her and see if she's available, and she was, and the rest is history. We, we started looking at other roles. Um, the protagonist in the film was, um, we, we bounced around a, a lot of people. Um, we worked together on another film um, called Vilma with Brandon and Brandon um, was available and he's always playing the villain but this was uh, a different villain role for him overall and we kind of filled out everybody else with a lot of our friends and I was able to also have a small cameo throughout the film. So this is probably the longest film that uh, Sean and I have ever worked on together. It was probably about 10 days we had pickups after it was all said and done, but the overall production was probably five days. So the production was about probably 10 days. We shot um, one day uh, at the rest area uh, up in north of uh, the Twin Cities. And then uh, we spent a day at IPR, which they were very nice to grant us permission to use their space. And we got to use a lot of the students that were there, um, Andy Hunt, whom I've worked with in the past uh, was, was really a great facilitator in um, letting us shoot uh, all the interior car scenes there, which would have been a nightmare in the winter if we would have had to shot uh, the car on a, on a truck <laughs> and, and try to make it look as real as possible. Um, and then we picked up um, some exterior car shots after it was all said and done, and we did some great aerial shots with, uh, with the drone camera, and um, yeah, it was probably about 10 days overall. We're very excited. This is one of the film festivals that we want to be a part of, and we try to get into every year. This is the Minnesota premiere for Rest Area. We're excited that it's happening at the Twin Cities Film Fest. Like, that was our goal when we were producing the film. And so we are so happy, and we can't wait for October to get here. So when I heard Rest Area was involved with the Twin Cities Film Fest, I was on the road and um, on social media and I scrolled and scrolled and then all of a sudden I see that we were in the festival. I was so excited because it is the, the festival to be at in, in the Twin Cities, hands on. Everybody's super great. Um, it's like royalty basically within the Twin Cities.